Good evening. My name is Bethany Iverson, and I'll be sending Delaware State in the poll. I'm here today to present a special award for a wonderful teacher at Bremer Heights High School. This teacher is an alumni at Bremer Heights High School and has been teaching there for many years. Walking into high school has been had, hold up, sorry. Walking into high school for the first time, every student should have a game close bond with a teacher that can help and guide them throughout their high school journey. He or she can assist you getting ready for college, be your mentor, and also be a second parent. I'm going to share with you how this teacher helped me throughout my high school journey while attending from my high school. This teacher became a dad figure in my life. He talked to me about boys and shared me how they become a distraction while you to keep your studies up. He allowed me to speak what was on my heart and he gave me excellent advice. I love to write poems and he will always ask me, Bethany, do you have a good poem for me today? He, will, he talked to me about college and what my future goals were going to be once I received my degree. He also helped me realize no matter what happens in life, always stick to your plan and accomplish your dreams. You, always, you all know this man who, take, who always take good pictures. He's more than a, just a good picture man. He's a strong-willed man, a college graduate from Berlin University, Eastern Shore, a husband and a father of five children. Thank you all for it. Thank you for the encouragement, and I will never forget you, and I will always look up to you. Ladies and gentlemen, I will allow to present this award to Mr. Gibbs. Speaking, I definitely wanted to recognize Dr. Bello. The job that you have done with the class of 2011 is just simply phenomenal. Phenomenal. As I look out at all of you this evening, it's hard for me to believe that it's been over 20 years since I graduated from Fairmont Heights High School. In that time, I've been fortunate enough to return to my alma mater to teach for the past 16 years. Also in that time, my wife and I have built a nice strong family and we have raised five beautiful children. Three of which are teenagers and one who just turned 20. Now, I believe the fact that I've raised four teenagers that has helped me to be uh, a better teacher to you guys who are teenagers. Also, the fact that you guys, I taught you for 16 years, I think that has made me a better father. <laughs> now, as a teacher of teenagers and a parent of teenagers, over the years I have found, or I've sat back and I've observed some things to be true, and I like to call these my truisms. Now, I need y'all to do me a favor. Parents, graduates, if you agree with anything that I say tonight, all I need you to do is raise your hands up in the air and give me some snaps. <laughs> all right. Now, as a parent, we know that teenagers lie to us about 80% of the time. <laughs> However, a teenager believes that they only lie 20% of the time. And the other 60% of the time, they're just painting the truth. <laughs> Truism. Teenagers, when we were your age, we probably made more mistakes than you are right now. That's why we're so hard on you. We've been there and we've done that. Truism. Now, teenagers, as parents, we know that the longer we lecture you, the less you actually listen to us. <laughs> Goes in one ear, out the other. Hey. However, as parents, we also know that teenagers will become adults who have their own children. And it is only until then that you will realize that you were listening to us all along. <laughs> so we're going to continue to lecture you. Truism. Parents, this one is for you. 
Once you became your child's Facebook friend, they either blocked you or they moved to Twitter. <laughs> Truism. Now, since we're talking about social media sites like Twitter and Facebook, teenagers, make sure that you don't spend all of your time on Facebook, but more of your time with your face in a book. Truism. Teenagers, you know, when, when you're wrong, you're just wrong. However, when parents are wrong, we get to be right because we pay all the bills. <laughs> True reason. <laughs> Teenagers, although we always love you, sometimes we don't like you very much. True reason. Now, I'm going to leave you with some, some words of encouragement and some advice. First, for the parents, the best gift that you can give your child is space. Your children are now young adults. You have to allow them, allow them to grow up and learn from their mistakes without us smothering them, hovering over them, or telling them every time they make a mistake. Graduates, the best gift you can give to your parents is your independence. We don't want you all to go on to be successful so that you can give us your money. We just want you to stop spending hours. <laughs> True wisdom. <laughs> Lastly, graduates, as you walk into this world, don't be so concerned about what your peers are doing. Focus on yourself and do you. And who knows, by the time that you see everybody at your 10 year reunion, you'll be able to take a quote from one of the greatest philosoph philosophers of your time, Dr. Chris Brown, who once said, look at me now, look at me now, I'm getting paper, thank you.